you've told your wife you've bought a $270,000 sports car. She probably wouldn't believe that it was this Audi S8, but this is a luxury car in every sense of the word and a sports car too. Nor to 100 in under four seconds, a V8 twin turbo under the bonnet, but a whole range of tech that makes this Audi S8 something very special. I brought the Audi S8 to the quietest place in Australia, Sydney Airport. Um, I don't think it's ever been like this, and uh, hopefully it's never like this again once this is all over. But this is this is essentially the home of this car. This car should be doing luxury airport pickups, and on the weekend person behind the wheel gets to take it for a bang because that V8, it, it throbs, it drives beautifully, active suspension means it handles well and all the technology in the world means it's also very safe. Look, behind the wheel, I, I don't know if there's an equivalent to this. Um, this is a beautiful luxury cruise. I mean, it's a huge sedan obviously, uh, which feels and drives with the utmost luxury. But then, uh, you put in dynamic mode, um, let alone in comfort mode, frankly, and you start taking it on a bit of a, a, bit of a cruise. Twists, turns, and it does it with utter confidence. Now, as I've felt in other Audis, there's a disconnection between me and, and, and the wheels, but that artificial steering, that artificial ride is actually helping it feel better. Uh, it feels more comfortable, it feels more confident. Um, I have more confidence because the air suspension in this thing is working so hard to smooth this road out. Um, all the pre-sense stuff works great out on the open road, but here on these twists and turns, it's, it's about the suspension and the tuning and the steering. And while it's not the ultimate driver's car, dear God, it's a beautiful drive. And I think that actually makes it feel better to drive for longer, longer periods. You know, I can drive up and down these national park roads all day with, with no concern at all because it's just doing it so easily. But I'll leave the true driver's review to others who are far more expert at these things. For me, this is an example of technology absolutely not dominating a car but just creating a new environment within a car it's all the little things right so even the control for the speed of the of the air vents is, is kind of little touch screens four of them across the dash controlling the uh, the louvers if the if the air conditioner is off there's a carbon fiber cover that comes down and the, and the vents disappear you know you've obviously got the virtual cockpit which i think is still class leading and you've got these dual uh, haptic touch infotainment and climate control car control screens um, those things are absolutely outstanding and not only did audi essentially pioneer this digital style of approach but they just keep refining it and and refine it they do well but look there's a couple of little things that I think I really, really love about this car. And that active suspension means there's air suspension, right? So when we approach the car and unlock the door, when we get in, the car lifts by five centimeters just to make it that little bit more comfortable getting into the car. One of the things Audi should be most proud of are these headlights, laser matrix LED. There's 138 odd individual LEDs in here, backed with Audi's laser technology, which doubles the traditional brightness of an LED. And around the back here, OLED lights. Now these lights run all the way across, and there's even a beautiful welcome home and departure signature lighting. And around the front, I do love this massive grille that sits quite low, and these horizontal slats that give it a really sporty look. From a design perspective, this is a 5.2 meter long car. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, it's a big car, but I think it's the way it kind of sits low, not just because of that air suspension, but also the way the design is. It, it kind of looks like it's hunkering down on the road, which gives it a really, really great look. But inside here, there's four microphones placed around this cabin. Um, they're, they're not because uh, you need you know, hands-free calling. They're there because 
there's a level of noise cancellation going on here in this car. This car is like an enormous set of noise cancelling headphones. I can barely hear what's going on outside. Now, that's disappointing because of the throbbing V8 under my foot here, but you can wind the window down and hear that. But this car's not about hearing the sound outside. This car is about enjoying the drive and just loving every minute of it. This is a luxury sports supercar. Uh, I, I just, I mean, I can't begin to tell you the performance this car has. And I said, I'll leave that to others, but let me just tell you that with your foot sitting there hovering over the power of a V8, um, what you need, It's, um, it's great on the open road for an overtake. It's great darting through turns and twists and corners. Um, it's got it all. It really has it all. This is a, you know, this is not, I mean, obviously the A8 would be a great limousine, a great hire car. This is, I mean, if I'm a hire car driver, this is the car I want because I want to be able to take it on the weekends and have some fun. This is the car you buy when you've got the money for a supercar, but your wife won't let you because she won't realize how great this is. There are little tiny things on this infotainment that I think as an owner you would appreciate far more than uh, you know someone who gets a test drive a car for a day, let alone 10 minutes at a dealership. But this secondary touch screen down here, which is primarily climate control, has a bunch of hotkey buttons. You can set radio stations here, you can set destinations. There's a whole bunch of really cool things there that you can do. But remember also, this is also a back seat car. What's happening back there is beyond, beyond the norm of any car you've probably seen before. I didn't get to enjoy the ride back here, but I've been sitting for some time enjoying the creature comforts. I've got full seat control here as the car lowers itself, <laughs> literally lowering itself right now. Um, so yeah, full seat control both sides, plus this removable tablet, which gives me control of everything from temperature to multimedia sound and can pass it between the passengers if we like and it all all controlled here as a passenger including a whole bunch of things like the blinds oh and when you're back here maybe you're getting a ride back from the airport or just from the shops if you're reading or need some light these lights up here also matrix LEDs directing the light exactly where you need it you know I've had one of those funny days where I had you know massively stuck in traffic and then I got to really enjoy these national park roads you know, I'm stuck behind someone going 60 and I don't care because it's beautifully comfortable um, that disconnection I talk about with the steering I enjoy at these speeds because it's just a, it's a joy to potter around it um, it really does does give you a great sense of, of drivability but you know it may not be the driver's car everyone wants um, I've flogged this pretty heavily getting 13.6 litres per hundred it is a V8 engine just uh, so you know it idles about 40 litres per hundred because I idled for about two hours in traffic but out on the open road I was getting eights and nines um, you know I don't, I don't think if you're spending $300,000 on a car you can give two hoots about what the fuel economy really is. And just quietly, sound system, mwah, Bang & Olufsen, uh, beautifully laid out, there's tweeters uh, up that, that appear up here on the dashboard. Um, there's some great speakers on, on, the, on the rear luggage parcel shelf. Um, and it's all fitted out in utter Audi luxury. There's beautiful carbon fiber inlays. There's, two-tone leather, there's Alcantara leather, I don't even know what Alcantara is, is that a type of cow? I mean, I'm more of a Wagyu man, but it's, yeah, it's spectacular. You know, if you're lining up for an A8, just think that the S8 